When Jesus lived on earth, he constantly told people about the kingdom of God and displayed the character of God. To explain these truths more clearly, Jesus often brought up examples and told parables with a spiritual meaning. Many of these parables were about God, heaven, and salvation. One day, Jesus wanted to show Israel of God's great love for sinners by telling them a story about a father who had two sons. There was a man who had two sons. This father had great wealth which he planned to give to his sons. His younger son came to him one day and said, Father, I have grown up and want to live independently. Give me my share of your wealth and property because I do not want to wait much longer to receive it. I want to use my inheritance now as I please. Well, son, maybe it would be better if you waited. Soon enough, I will no longer take care of my property and wealth. You and your brother will be masters over all I have. But if you still want your part of the wealth now, I will give it to you. Thank you, father. Finally, I will have a different life and I will live just as I please. I myself will deal with all my wealth as I see fit without anyone's advice and lectures. To please his younger son, the father divided his wealth and gave each son his share. Soon the younger son decided he no longer wanted to work for his father. He gathered up all of his wealth and left to another country. He began to spend all that money on fun, parties and other activities until he had nothing left. When his money ended, he lost all his new friends which helped him spend his father's wealth and he was left all alone. Soon there came a terrible famine upon the country and the younger son was left with nothing. Oh, uh, why did I waste all of my father's money? I did not think of my future. I did not think my money would end so quickly or that there would be a famine. I have no more money even to buy some kind of food to eat. Oh, I am so hungry. I guess I better find a job to make money to buy food. But I do not know how to do anything. I will go and ask, hopefully at least someone will hire me. After a long search for work, the lost son was hired to take care of the pigs in the fields. Because he was not earning enough money to buy food, the son ate the food prepared for the pigs to fill his empty stomach. His master did not care for him and did not provide him with any meals. What am I doing? I have nothing left here. But I do still have a father. All of my father's hired servants have so much food and here I am starving to death. No. I will go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. The younger son decided that it would be better if he was a servant at his father's house than suffer here in a foreign country. He knew his father treated his servants very well and that he would always have food and a roof over his head. Thus, the son went on his long journey home to his father. When his father recognized his son from the distance, he ran to him with great joy. The son fell on his knees in front of his father and said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. The father raised his son from his knees, hugged him and said, my son, what are you saying? If only you knew how I waited for all these years in hope that you would return home. I believe that this day would come and you will once again be in my house. No matter what happened, you are my son and I love you. And to return the son's previous status in the house, the father ordered his servants. Quick, bring the best robe and put on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Prepare food and let's have a feast to celebrate. 
for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So the father prepared a great feast for his son and celebrated the return with great joy. Meanwhile, the older son, who remained with his father, came home from the fields and saw the ongoing celebration. When he found out that his brother had returned home and father was celebrating it, the older brother got really angry and refused to come to the party. Son, why do you not join us? We are having a great feast. See, your brother has returned home. Come. Let us sit together as a family and be happy that he is alive and well. Father, all these years I've been working for you and never disobeyed your orders. Yet you never gave me even a small lamb to celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours, who has wasted all your money, comes home, you prepare such a great feast for him. My son, you're always with me and everything I have is yours. But we have to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Thanks be to God for his great mercy. When Jesus finished telling this parable, the people listening understood that Jesus was telling them about God who loves his sons and daughters as a father. It was also a story about the Father's care and unconditional love to His children. Even when they are disobedient and walk away from Him, He is willing to forgive them and waits upon their return to Him. God is ready to accept all lost sons and daughters home. <laughs>